Hi, welcome to Learnix Academy. Today we're going to talk about uh, some test taking strategies for the reading section on the TOEFL exam. Okay, so first thing we'll need to know is that the reading passages are approximately around 700 words. So you have about uh, 60 to 100 minutes to answer the questions and also read over the passage. Okay. Um, so here's kind of a plan as far as time management goes. Uh, I think it's important to focus on skimming and scanning skills because if you really read these these passages, you're not going to have enough time to answer your questions. Okay, um, so focusing and practicing skimming and scanning skills to be able to manage your time more effectively. Okay, and an overview of some types of questions that may be on the test. Uh, one thing you want to get familiar with is making inferences and that is basically what do I understand from my reading. So uh, inference is a, a fancy word for basically drawing conclusions based on what I've read. Okay, so that's probably something that you want to get familiar with. And also how to simplify sentences. Basically, we're looking at summaries and paraphrasing of what you have read. All right, let's look at some strategies that we can use to uh, better answer the questions uh, provided on the exam. Uh, here's an example passage that you may encounter on the exam. So let's read through this and then look at the question that follows it. Now I would recommend that you don't leisurely read this. Skim and scan. I Already when I'm looking at this I see uh, some facts and details like 1350, 1066, 1600. These are some things that I'm going to want to quickly scan and skim over to basically understand what is it that I'm reading. Let's look at the question here. And now it's important that you read the question fully to understand what is it asking. And it's saying around the world except. So one answer would be the possible uh, phrase or word that would complete the sentence. All right, and again, we can uh, use our skimming and scanning skills to look at uh, the information relating to the question so that we can answer it correctly. Now, everything is just uh, provided in the reading, so it's just a matter of going back and finding it to support your answer. Okay, so we've identified some of the key points here. All right, so we would understand that uh, B is the correct answer for this question. Let's look at another reading passage. Again, when we're going through it, uh, just skimming through the details, North America, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Rockies, Mexico, these are things that are, I'm already picking out and I'm not really reading it. I'm scanning over some of the important parts of the text. I'm not actually reading through it at a leisurely pace because I really don't have enough time. I probably go ahead and go to the question first. Okay. Again, this is another exception question. Uh, everything is true except. So we're going to look at something that is not true about the passage that we've read. And we can go through and verify our information. So we've got some of the key points uh, identified here in blue. Okay, and the things that don't fit would probably be the last one here, woodland bison. We're not able to find any information on that in the text. Okay, let's look at another question here. Well, let's follow the same procedure, um, skimming and scanning. Skim through it quickly, scan for relevant information, but go ahead and work on the question that follows that. Here we're trying to make an inference. All right, so we want to identify what, based on what we've read, which is the best answer here. All 
refer, refer back to the reading passage, we'll be able to uh, use some details that would support uh, the reading. All right, so the best answer here is the last one, information that can be inferred, which would be information in the passage that supports the statement. Let's look at another reading passage together. Again, we don't want to read it uh, for details. We're just skinning, skimming and scanning over it quickly and then immediately jumping to the question to try to f uh, find out what is it asking for, what is some of the information that we need to refer to. Okay, so here they're talking about, uh, from here the question is saying the author mentions results of flotation experience on plant seeds, most probably in order to what? So here we're talking about what is the author's purpose. Um, we want, again, refer back to the passage here, find information supporting some of the statements, and answer the question accordingly. Okay, um, so here uh, we're looking at uh, introductory sentence. Um, looking at the topic sentence, um, when you are skimming over it, if you pay attention to the topic sentence, you basically understand what uh, the passage is about. And then, again, employing your skimming and scanning skills appropriately. And everything should be followed. There's details, detailed information, some of the specialized words you would take a note of. Okay, those words that really kind of uh, point out to you when you're skimming over it. Another part of the test will involve you filling out a table based on what you've read. Okay, so let's look at another reading passage. All right, this has got a lot of details and information here. Uh, we probably want to skim over it quickly. Um, and find out what exactly our task is uh, relating to the passage. As you can tell, um, the passage is pretty long. Um, so let's just quickly go over that. As you can see, it's pretty long. It's going to take a lot of time for you to read through. Uh, let's look at the question to find out what is it asking us. All right, it, they're asking us to complete the table to summarize the information. So we need to identify advantages and disadvantages of being left-handed. And everything should be uh, in the passage, and we should refer back to it. So we're not adding anything of our own. We're adding whatever we can identify from the reading. All right. So here's the, the chart that we would fill out, and then we would look at um, things that are related to left-handed and right-handed. Okay, so we would pick out some of the important and then make the chart filling in the information from the reading. Okay, so these are how, this is how we would go ahead and organize those uh, ideas for the TOEFL. Okay, so here um, the emphasis from the reading is not only um, being able to read information, but also to uh, employ your skimming and scanning skills, okay, and identify what are the questions asking you for. You'll have to make inferences, you'll have to understand the author's point of view, what is the purpose of the writing, and identify uh, facts and details to support your answers like we have done in the chart here. Um, if you have any questions or you'd like more information on how to pre better prepare for your TOEFL, okay, do visit uh, www.learnxacademy.com or feel free to write to us at care at learnxacademy.com and do uh, join us on Skype, uh, learnx.tech or learnxacademy. Thank you very much.